guys, it's me, Professor Pete, and today we're talking about Easter. What is Easter all about? When we think about Easter, what are some of the things that come to mind? What about peeps? Mmm. Delicious. Not nutritious at all. Is peeps what Easter's all about? Nah. What about eggs? We hunt these in the yard. Super fun every year. Is eggs what Easter's all about? Nah. Definitely chocolate bunny, right? I mean, Easter is all about chocolate bunnies, right? Nah. Well, what about the llama corn? <laughs> to understand what Easter is all about, we really have to know the story of Jesus. And to understand the story of Jesus, we gotta go all the way back to the beginning, to a baby born in a manger. Now in the Gospel of Luke in the Bible, where's my Bible at? Oh, here it is. We go to the Gospel of Luke. We see the story of Jesus beginning. Mary is promised something. She's promised a son. And here's what the Bible says. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. See, what Mary knew was that Jesus was coming to save the world. Fast forward in the Gospel of Luke to Luke chapter 2. We see 12-year-old Jesus teaching in the temple and his parents are looking for him. When they find him, they ask him, where have you been? He says, didn't you know I would be in my father's house? Even at 12 years old, Jesus knew what he was doing. And here's what the Bible says about him. Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and favor before all men. As Jesus grew, his, his ministry started, and he picks 12 friends. And what we see in the Bible is we see a ministry that would impact the whole world. But the story of Jesus comes together in what we call Easter week, or Holy Week. During that week, we see Jesus entering into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. When he entered into town, the people were doing something weird. They were laying palm branches before him. And they were shouting something. They were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Ah. Jesus enters to the temple and guess what he sees? People selling things to gain wealth for themselves. Jesus was so angry. He was so angry that he flipped the tables over. Later that week, Jesus had a special dinner with his 12 disciples. And during that dinner, he broke some bread and he said, This is my body. It's broken for you. And he poured some wine and he passed it around and he said, This is like my blood shed for you. This was a picture of what was about to happen. And Jesus knew that what was about to happen would change the world forever. What was about to happen? Well, you're going to have to come back tomorrow to find out. This is five minutes or less with Professor P. We'll see you tomorrow.